A 30-year rugby tradition at Twickenham, the spiritual home of the game in Britain, has come under fire. For decades, thousands of fans at the ground have sung Swing Low, Sweet Chariot after Union and League star Martin of Fire, known as Chariots of Fire, began to play there. Fans sang the song as a tribute to a fire's ability to go in to low score tries. But now the British Rugby Football Union is reviewing the song's historical, historical context rather, and the suitability of the anthem. The British Prime Minister says he sees no reason to ban the tune, a sentiment of fire agrees with. I think what people need to do is focus less on the symbols of, of, uh, of discrimination or, or, or whatever, as they, as they, all these issues that people are now raising to do with statues and songs and so on. I, I can see why they're very emotive, I understand that. Um, but what I want to focus on is the, is the, is the substance of the issue. History uh, should be seen in its full light, you know, the good and the bad. We learn about it and we move on and we can still sing the song. Um, you know, there are certain connections between uh, the struggles that, uh, you know, the, the slaves experienced. You know, this is a song sung by black people, not it wasn't something that was, uh, you know, directed at black people. It was sung by black, black people. It has a history, a history, I think, that we should learn about and know about.